Now we'll take a look at a new piece of functionality called magnetic mates. Often large assemblies can be a little bit of a performance drain. Large numbers of highly detailed components being mated together can add uh, to the time taken to rotate the model, to manipulate the model and to position new components as well. So there are some techniques that we can use uh, currently within SOLIDWORKS to make this a lot better things like uh, large assembly mode. In 2017, we've seen the introduction of a new technique with something called magnetic mates. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a component into this uh, assembly. As soon as the line is connected between the two pink dots, we can click and place, and the component will be drawn into position using the magnetic mate functionality. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that uh, again with another component and you'll see here just using the tab key we can reorientate it uh, we can get it to move about snap to any number of these dots and they don't have to be too close together as soon as the line connects and we place the component down the magnetic mate takes effect we can also do this just by dragging uh, components around like so or alternatively uh, dragging copies of components out and snapping them into position like so and it becomes a very quick easy way for us to manipulate components around the screen you'll see here we can drag groups of assemblies we could also grab hold of uh, the people within this and position them any number of different things uh, can be dragged and dropped like so using the control key so now we've seen how magnetic mates can work in an assembly situation, let's take a look at how they function uh, and how they're set up. Just before I do that, it's worth pointing out that large numbers of the components you see on screen here have been created using speed packs. So if we hover over these and enable the speed pack circle, you'll see that large amounts of the detail within the models have actually been unloaded from memory. So visually we can see them, but if we hover over them, you'll see it's not actually there. This is a great way to reduce the level of detail uh, and really speed up large assemblies. So let's take a look at one of these components here. So as I mentioned, these components have been created uh, or have had speed packs applied to them. So I'm just gonna come out of the uh, speed pack configuration and we'll take a look here and you'll see the full amount of detail is now shown in this assembly, all the components, any patterns that are contained within it. If we want to create uh, and leverage our assembly to use magnetic mates, we need to use the new tool called the Asset Publisher. So there is one contained within this assembly already, so I'm just going to edit this here. Now the first thing we need to do is specify a ground plane. So this is where the component will be snapped to when we insert it into the assembly. So you'll see here we're just using the top plane. Then we need to define some connection points. So where the pink dots are going to appear on the assemblies when we drag and drop them. So you'll see the first connector here is actually using a point on a sketch, uh, a face for a direction shown in purple. Uh, and that's really all we need to define the position of the connectors. One of the other things that we can do optionally within here is create a speed pack. So the assets don't need to contain a speed pack, but they can include one. So let's take a look at the speed pack for this assembly. So let's just go ahead and edit it. So within speed pack, for those of you who aren't familiar with the tool, we can choose to include components, bodies, surfaces, uh, planes or faces. And anything we don't select is going to be excluded, so it's going to be dropped out of the graphical memory. Towards the bottom, new for 2017, is the ability to capture the published, rest, uh, the published assets within uh, the asset publisher. So we can now uh, choose the ground plane, the connectors, and we can also include any sketches or curves within here as well. So again, once the speed pack is created, you'll see all that unnecessary detail for positioning the component is dropped out. So hopefully what we'll see 
uh, with the use of magnetic mates is a much easier way for us to position our assemblies relative to each other. We now only need to define one mate instead of three, so that should help us with performance. And with the addition of speed packs as well, we can really uh, make some inroads into assembling much, much faster. So in summary, we've seen how it allows automatic snapping. We can break the existing mates by simply dragging. It can utilize speed pack technology. There's a new asset publisher tool to allow us to uh, create these assets. We can include reference geometry. This uh, magnetic mate system also works on cylindrical components as well. Thank you.